Good morning, my wonderful friends. Megas with you on a beautiful day in Asha. And I'm feeling so grateful right now. I got a beautiful message from Spirit, and I'm going to entitle this warning Is the atmosphere conducive for life or death? And you know, every night when I go to bed, I don't have a message, and I always wonder, will we have a message for tomorrow? But it's been three and a half years, and every day we have a message, and I get them, these downloads, but between awake and asleep, just in that in that place where you hear from spirit, and it's funny, I get these words, we've talked about this throughout the week, I've been getting a lot of these, uh, today it was uh, the atmosphere conducive for you know and I'm thinking I don't use conducive you know in my everyday you know language so I have to look up a lot of these words and listen to what it says this is beautiful it says conducive makes a certain situation or outcome possible my friends life or death the atmosphere that we are in is going to either make life or death conducive possible a possible outcome and so it's got me thinking of course about our atmosphere and my friends we can't wait for people our events to make us happy to make us peaceful we have to control our atmosphere do you remember what the Christ said he said when two or more are gathered in my name I am there with them he's the magic worker the miracle worker uh, and we want to be in that in that atmosphere. What is that name? It's Word, right? Jesus is the Word. He was with God and is God. And and so we we need to get the authority of that name. How do we do that? Do you remember why they crucified the Christ? Because he said he was one with God. He was that that original Word. What is the original Word? Uh, you have to know that Asha 13 says the original word is all good okay and, and get this stay with me for a minute as I put this together when you go to church that's where you're supposed to be able to find God to be able to find your good I, I gotta read this let me grab my Bible real quick please stay with me this is so important I guarantee you my friends you're gonna get something from this in uh, it's Matthew 23 15. Listen to what it says. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you can pass sea and land to make one convert, and when he is made, you make him twofold more the child of hell than yourself. And then he goes on to say, Woe unto you, uh, hypocrites, for you devour widows' houses. Uh, it, it goes on to talk about woe unto you because they'll strain a gnat but swallow a camel, meaning uh, they'll tell you how long you can grow your hair or not, uh, but you don't have to have love in your life. You can stone someone to death. See, they'll make these little laws that in their eyes are going to make you, uh, you know, holy. Give them their money. The whole thing is about them trying to separate you from your money. Do you, you've probably never seen that before in any of the matrix religions in the world these days, right? <laughs> they just want to separate you from your money. And it's funny. Can I tell a quick story? When I was in Bible college, I told the pastor, I go, I don't feel any love here. And, and he said, I'm not loving you. I'm teaching you. And, and, uh, and then of course, uh, when I was in that cult in Texas, that Christian cult in Texas, they were awful. They, tortured me my friends not only mentally but physically they actually poisoned me uh and but you know what i'm so grateful that i experienced those things i'm so grateful i went into the army because there's nothing like experience and, and for me to be who i am today which i love i had to see those things and experience them myself do you know why so that i was never those things and people couldn't lie to me and tell me uh that it's god that is good. And my friends, it, it opened me up for spirit to come and give me this message of the Magi to bring back to the world, to bring back that original word that God is all good and he doesn't hate, war, kill, destroy. He doesn't do evil spirit things or else he couldn't be called God good. So think about that. You're going to the matrix world religions to find your God, find your good, uh, but they don't know God good so how do you find them my friends we got to go inside we got to find that original word we need to find that name 
that we have authority to work and to bring in our good. We know this. If we hold God good thought by cosmic law, God good forms because spirit makes form. My, my friends, it's all about the vibrations that we hold. That's how we create, just like our, our daddy does. And our good, our happiness, our peace, our joy, it comes from alignment with source, with spirit. But you have to know who that is, and you're not going to find it in the matrix world religions, my friends. You're going to have to go inside, and inside of you, you will find love. You know instinctively what love is because there's a divine spark of fravashi inside of you, a guide, and you know, my friends, who God is what love is, what peace is, what joy is, and you can align with it and hold that. And my friends, as we come together, like I said, two or more gathered in my name, I am there with them. As we bring this to the collective, my friends, we start changing the world. And that's what I'm going to ask you today. We started the hashtag Asha Project video. My friends, uh, I'll put a link to it. Please go to it, and there's a share button right by the like-dislike button. There's a share button. You can share it in your messages. You can share it to your social media, and it will change the world. And my friends, here's something I, I don't think many of you understand. When you put yourself out there and start doing things for good, for spirit, you get more power. You get more magic in your life to do more, and that's what many of you are craving, but, but you got to do it. And you know what? It's another beautiful thing about experience. I'm just telling you this. Don't just believe me because I'm telling you this. Do it and see for yourself, my friends. And you will see. One, you'll have, of course, more power to do more because he's going to give you the power you need for your ministry. But also, you're going to find purpose in your life. You're going to find a satisfaction that maybe you never have felt before. And my friends, I'm going to ask you today. Start speaking the highest truth to yourself. Start saying, I am the perfect creator's perfect thought. What else could a perfect creator have but a perfect thought? In truth, that divine spark in me is, is perfect. God is perfect. And, and start creating from that vibration. Remember Asha 3, to remember the covenant written on our hearts that we are a child of the king. Come back to who you truly are, not who Hollywood tells you are, or some music artist tells you you are, Go inside and find who you are. It's not what a church tells you you are. I can't stand it when churches tell you you're just a dirty sinner. My friends, I don't know what they're talking about. I'm the perfect creator's perfect idea, and so are you. And I'm so proud of every one of you. All right, guys, you know this. I love you so much. If you enjoy these, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Tell me you're enjoying these. Tell me what you're getting from it. Tell me what you're not getting from these messages. And most importantly, know I love you. I love you. I love you.